Our oh, second men's light welterweight quarterfinal is Canada versus Uganda. Wyatt Sanford and Joshua took him away. Bois. Maslan Amza of Malaysia is our referee for this one. Representing Canada, Wyatt Sanford. <laughs> So the 23-year-old Southpaw has looked good on his journey so far. Said he wanted to uh, shrug off the disappointment of going out early at the Tokyo Olympics. He's dropped down a division to do it. And uh, Wyatt Sanford finds himself now boxing for a medal. Canada has been very successful in Commonwealth Games boxing. All seven of their boxers four years ago medaled. And they're all going well this time around as well. And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner, representing Uganda, Joshua Tukumahebwa. And from Uganda, it's Joshua Tukumahebwa, the young southpaw, the 22-year-old team captain who goes by the nickname of the Punisher. But his nickname here really should be the Comeback Kid. Twice he's lost the first round. Twice he's come back to get himself over the line. Can he do it again and book himself a medal appearance? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quarter-final of the men's light welterweight contest. Fought over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing Canada, Wyatt Sanford. And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner, representing Uganda, Joshua Tukumuhebua. Fascinating contest which looks very open on paper, doesn't it? Wyatt Sanford, the stockier Canadian in the red. Joshua took him away, bro. The Ranger Ugandan in another battle of Southpaws here in this second light welterweight quarterfinal of the afternoon. And what took him away, what you feel has got to avoid is the slow start. He's made life difficult for himself in his first two fights, got himself out of trouble, but you don't want to keep coming from behind. No, he started fast here though. You know, to establish that jab pretty early. He's strong now, isn't he, Sanford? But yeah. also hittable. Yes, he's he's there to be hit, isn't he? Now, took him away, but came in, having won the Kilimanjaro Open in Tanzania, a warm-up tournament for this event back in June. And he's had to do it the hard way here. It's a good left hand though there, isn't it, from Tugum away, but that's yeah, what he needs a, more of that. It's been a really good first minute from him. He's been listening to you, Nick. Well, that'll be a first. <laughs> and it's usually a recipe for disaster as well, but no, he certainly has started off well here. A young man who's had to overcome an awful lot of adversity in his private life already. Here he is boxing for a shot at winning a Commonwealth Games gold medal. But uh, Wyatt Sanford wants that medal just as badly. Just, Sanford just not quite got his distance right yet. That's good work there though from yeah. took him a waiver. No, nothing behind it, but it was effective work. Yes, a scoring shot, that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, what we haven't seen from Tukumuwebra here in, in Birmingham is that reputation. He came in as the, the big puncher, the punisher. But he's he's much more of a complete boxer than a power hitter. Yeah, and it's all level you're boxing at as well. You know, that, that, that also takes us to an account. Oh, 
Back in left hand there, Tom Sanford. Yeah, that's it. He takes one back immediately, but Sanford realises now he's got to up the, up the tempo a little bit, get in close. Got to sharpen up the quality of his work as he gets a warning for a slap there. But yeah, he's made this first couple of minutes too easy, really, for Took him away, but needs to set a faster tempo. Yeah, he's just walking on the shots and he's trying, he's trying to close the gap and he's so focused on that that he is walking into a couple of straight shots on his way in. Good well, job there for took him away, Barry. As you said earlier, Barry says Sanford is hittable. He is there to be hit and at the moment took him away where he's picking off some very, very nice shots. Takes a left hand back though there. Sanford lands a big left hand. Yeah, and what he took there is took him away with the, just squared his feet up and lean forward. How many times is around one and lost in the final 15, 20 seconds? And Sanford is looking to try and turn this in his favour here. Having made that really slow start, come on strong. Is it too little too late as far as that first round is concerned? I would think so, but you know, we still, again, we only sometimes we said that and got it wrong. But I thought for me, I think took him away when he started fast. We've got those long shots into play, and the other ones are easy to score, aren't they, from distance? I thought he didn't have to take that round. Again, Sam are looking to a low, but you know, maybe just punch him a little bit too far out, and that's a lot. Took him away, but to get that, that long jab and that, certainly that long left hand on the target. But as the round went on, just things slowed down a little bit. Sam was able to get into range. He landed with a couple of meaty shots, but overall, right. took him away, but did the Four better work. Down. Okay, chill. Yeah, you need to pick it up, okay? Stay smart. Yeah. Well, this is how the cards are looking. 4-1 in favour of the Ugandan. Well, he's been doing all the chasing in this year's Commonwealth Games. Joshua took him away. Well, let's see how he operates as a front runner. And this is new territory for Wyatt Sanford, who is trailing, which is something that he didn't experience in his first two contests. <laughs> Well, I think the message was there for Wyatt Sanford. Up the tempo, let the punches go. It sounds very simple, but you've got to start faster than he did in that first round. He's doing it now, isn't he? And again, you always got to be aware of coming back as well. You've got to be careful. Took away, but you know, you know he has been a devastating punch. He rips those shots in, they're giving hurtful punches. Yeah, Sanford is pressing, as you say, he's very, very aware of what is coming back. Ooh. And there's always something is coming back from Tukum Away, boy. Yeah, it was good up because there, when they're from Tukum Away, by there. Sanford just squared his feet up as he got close. Right now, he's taking his time, catches the left hand for his pains there, Sanford. Took away, but using that reach of his pretty effectively here against an oncoming stockier opponent. And Sanford's defences again let himself down there. It was, that was strange. I could took him away, but had some success. He had a lovely uppercut, but he held on to Sanford. He did that a little bit in the first round as well, didn't he? It? It's just like, well, getting close, I'll just tie you up. Now, where's that come from? It was a good shot. He's landed with a nice overhand, overhand left there, Sanford. But I don't think he's warranted a Absolutely he stands, he stunned at that. Listen, the referee's closer and he feels it's a, yep. it's a heavy shot. And, and, the, and the boxer needs the eight. We can't rest. This is prerogative. Well, now, that puts took him away, but under pressure. Oh, good, the right took there from took him away, but... Yeah, he's got to really start firing back here. Just let the judges know, I'm OK. And I'm still in charge here, but that's going to give Sanford a real boost as he just tries the rough stuff on the inside, just tries to bully, took him away, but... It's got the shot now, isn't it, Sanford? So step, over, step over to the right and throw that left hook really high and wide. Shot again. Sanford tries to get straight back on him. Took him away by standing his ground here, and the referee let him, let him, letting him work on the inside. Oh, he's rocked again there. He's more balanced than anything else. And Sanford is finishing this round strongly, just as he did.
the first round, and I think this time the outcome might be a little bit different. It's a bit of a cut there on the eye. He is. He's damaged on the left eye there, Sanford. Well, that's the bad news, but surely he did enough to win this round and make this very, very yeah, interesting going into the last two minutes. But how bad is that yeah, cut? No, breathe. Breathe. Come on. All right. Beautiful round, but you don't give him time. All right, step back. Uh, it's right down the eyelid as yeah, well. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's not in the greatest of places. That's really not good. And not so much for this fight. You're thinking about future, yeah. the, the, the fight's down the line if he gets past. Took him a waiver. Well, he's got a Saturday semi-final if he wins this. He certainly yeah. turned that round in his favour, didn't he? Yeah, he was, a, he was a really close on him to that point you would have felt, wouldn't you? But, then, but he just, um, again, just produced the quality, the good shots, the good shot selection, the weight in the punches. You would think he did enough. Yeah, he did. Won it on all five cards, which means four are now level. Three minutes between these two men and a Commonwealth Games medal. Will it be the Canadian in the red, Wyatt Sanford, or will it be Uganda's Joshua Tukumueva advancing to Saturday's semi-final? And it's Sanford that's off immediately with the fast start, but he's also the man with the cut left eye as well. A little bit left hand there, wasn't it, from Sanford? Or right hand, I should say, he's in the softball stance. Just rocking the head back there, Tukumueva. Oh, the shot. Again. He felt that. That one is a standing count more than a standing count. Yeah, it's strange, isn't yeah. it? As you say, referee's decision. But it took him away, but it's just not working effectively. Ever since Sanford really upped the tempo, took a few risks. The Canadian has turned this decisively in his favour. Now, we've got uh, a problem with that eye. Well, this will be a real shame. Now, this is so unfortunate for Wyatt Sanford, it really is. Because, as you say, even if he gets through this one, and that's still to be determined, what does it do for his semi-final? They say, he's OK, he wants to roll. And how much more damage is that eye going to sustain in the two minutes that remain here? To Roy, who gets clipped once again as Sanford... Good just trying to work his way into this semi-final. Yeah, good left hook himself. That's better from Tuckerman Weaver there. Just landing a nice little left hand. Yeah, Sanford's having a look at the referee here, which is never a good sign. As Tuckerman Weaver looks to try and use that distance of his to his advantage. And uh, we get another stoppage here. And I think that's the, the vest, vest coming out rather than uh, anything too dramatic. Tired in the amateur boxing, you just untuck your vest, wouldn't you? The, the, the reason you're struggling for pace, you just start, start, start untucking your yeah, vest. Yeah. Gives give yourself a little bit of a rest. So we're down to a minute and a half. Sanford's the man with momentum behind him, and that was poor from took him away, but just fresh air, but he knows he's got to throw punches, he's got to land them as well, but he really is head down and charged now. And he, he might get a telling off for the head down. He got to throw punches, but he has to maintain that distance. The long shots are what, what work for him. He's moving his feet too close, and that's allowing long Sanford just to pick him off there as he rushed forward. And Sanford just picked him up very nicely with the right hand. Missed with the left, landed with the right again there, though, the Canadian. Looking strong here, Sanford, as we go into the final minute of this one. Yeah, it's a tight round. We tend to think Sanford's done a little bit better, don't you? Yes, just. But remember, four judges had it level. Sanford needs two of them. Took him away, but needs three of them. And surely Sanford has made the, the more compelling argument here. But who can win this last few seconds? And that's where this one is going to be won and lost, you feel. As one of these men saved something up for these last 30 seconds. You want to be a big push here. Sorry, Barry. Did, did a good job with that cut. Yeah, they have. fact that it's all, is it? Well, took him away, but has got to just really work here. Now, Sanford, I think, is feeling I've done enough, and he's backing off, surprisingly. That allowed took him away, but to land the combination, but has he done enough here? Took him away, but Sanford might just have hustled his way to a medal here, you know.
good fight, wasn't it? Let's be honest. It was. Good entertaining, really committed to both. And, but yeah, and it, it seemed like for the time that it was, took him away this fight to lose. That sort of felt that way. But Sanford found it from somewhere. The accuracy is a bit more fitness maybe, but the commitment to his shots. But yeah, for me, I think he did nothing that last round uh, just to cement that lead that he already had. I think he's hustled him out of it with yeah. four of those cards level. I mean, can, can three judges really give that round to took him away? Well, did he really do enough? I don't think so. Just see, there's a perfect example there of the, the, just a better technique and just a little bit better structure in his work. Took him uh, ladies forward. and Sam gentlemen, we have on. a split decision. Oh, took him away, was one at least in one card. In favour of your winner in the red yeah, corner. Exactly. Representing is the right Canada, Ryan Sanford! He said he wanted to come to Birmingham to get a bit of redemption after what he described as a very, very disappointing Tokyo Olympics. He lost in the first round to Mervyn Clare. Joshua took him away, but sportingly departs. No medal for him. But uh, what a pleasure it's been to watch him. But it's Sanford who managed that fight really well. And it's the comeback kid that's been dethroned. The man took him away, but who came from behind twice, led here, and it's Sanford that's come from behind to book himself a guaranteed Commonwealth Games medal. This is how the scorecards looked in the end. Just at one of the judges favouring the Ugandan. Wyatt Sanford claiming four of them to book his place. Ladies and gentlemen, your judges for the next bout from Canada, Germany, England, Italy, So that's Korea. how the draw... Your referee has in charge progressed of the in the light welterweight division. It's uh, Scotland Busky. versus Canada in Saturday's semi-final.